Hello everyone, back to On The Road Trucking Simulator because we've had another patch. That's right, another one. After going how long? Nearly a year with no patches. We've had one recent one and then we've had another one uh, that's arrived today, 13th of March. Now this one has got various improvements in it. One of which is, if you remember the last video I did, we had a problem here where I couldn't see all my drivers. So there was no way to assign jobs to drivers. This has reappeared now, so it was a bug. We suspected it was. So I've been through and I've given jobs to most of these guys. You can see they're all on their merry way, doing different bits and pieces. Uh, we've had a mail. What's this? Oh, it's just about a job that's completed. Get rid of that. Uh, I did actually have a message from my chairman saying we've made 750,000. Uh, we're on our way to a million. So uh, there you go, earnings. 776,000. So it's not bad, is it? It's not bad. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, revenue, yeah, revenue's going up. Yeah, it's all going in the right direction. So, to be honest, I don't pay attention to this very much. I should. Because it's all part of the game, isn't it? So I should pay more attention. Um, going back to ourselves, which is, this is me at the top. Um, we're going to take another truckload of cars in this video from uh, Kiel, which is where we finished last time. We're going from Kiel down to, to Hamburg. So let's uh, let's get into it. I need to go and uh, speak to the freight office first. Picking this one up. Okay. Let's get these unlocked. Actually, level nine now, so not too badly. Oh, let's get the unlock back up again. We don't want no slip on the back. Then we'll get underway. So we'll have a talk about the patch very shortly. Let's get in ignition. Let's do that. Then we need to make sure the tachograph is set up. Put the card in. Uh, shall we rest? Let's rest. Now we need to do that again. Uh, change it to driving. Accept. There we go. That's done. We don't need any lights. I think we're good. What else? Oh, that's me jumping out of the chair. Uh, let me move the seat back a little bit. Just prefer to be a little bit further back, not too much. Okay, good. Right, I think we are ready to go to Hamburg. 134 kilometres. Let's go. So yeah, another another patch has dropped. It's really, really good to uh, to see it getting some attention after all this time. If you haven't jumped back in for a while. Yeah, definitely give it a go. We've actually got some good sims now, haven't we, uh, on console? With uh, Fernbus just coming out, which I have been playing a heck of a lot of Fernbus. Uh, now let me just get out of here without running this guy over. Nothing coming, good. Is it me, or has, has this patch introduced a lot more static cars and things and the, the side of the road? Look at those trucks there. I don't recall seeing those before. They may have sneaked into the previous patch to this one. I'm really not sure. But anyway, there's been a lot of graphical texture improvements in this patch. Aerosoft have said, which is excellent news. So I'm wondering, once we get onto the motorway, I wonder if some of that fog has gone that we've seen in the distance. It certainly looks a bit brighter, doesn't it? I say this every single time we get a patch, but I think the tweak in it all the time so oh, we had some popping there the ship just popped in I don't know if you saw that but there is a little bit of fog there in the distance we're gonna turn here um, so you know let's see let's see how it is uh, I'm pleased we can set up jobs again for our drivers that's really nice um, this patch also brings in some setup for the new content so New content was mentioned again. So again, the uh, the tanker trailers was mentioned again. I think it's about a year ago when they were first mentioned, but they didn't make it into the game. So this patch brings in support for that. Now, wait a minute. Has my engine stopped? 
What happened then? My engine has stopped. Look at that. Bike all ignition down. How strange that is. Oh dear. We got a problem. Right, I am not going forwards. Look at that. What is going on? I'm in neutral. Why am I in neutral? Gearbox forward. Why? Right, hang on a minute. Let's see if... I hope this doesn't keep me in first gear. Do you see what happened? Somehow I went into neutral. I don't understand that. I don't understand why the engine cut out. Uh, right, let's just keep our eye on that. we got a green now. Let's just see if, if we... Yeah, so, okay. Let's get rid of that. So the gears, the gearbox is back working again. That was fairly bizarre. Did you see anything I did then? What did I do? I was just at the lights. The engine went off. Now, is that something I did? No. I don't know. Anyway, if you do know, gearbox is in rank mode. What does that mean? Uh, put it in the comments if you do know what that means. I'm used to this just being automatic the whole time. With no issues and I just got flashed for going through a red uh, just something definitely happened there anyway so it doesn't matter gearbox is in rank mode whatever that means um, but we are still driving and uh, the gears are changing so good so yes what was I saying the uh, the tanker trailers are coming it's been a year since they were announced and this patch just bring in some support for those tanker trailers so there was no date given as to when that new content is going to drop because I know there are also some new trucks coming as well but we have no dates yet but uh, patches that bring in support for that new content are always welcome because you know it must be imminent right let's get out of Kiel 118 kilometers to go we'll just follow this bus I'd still like to know what rank mode is. I'm tempted to go into the gearbox settings and just change something, but I don't think I will because it's working uh, as it should at the moment. Got another mail turned up there, I can see it in the bottom right, so one of our uh, drivers no doubt has completed one of his jobs. So we should be getting paid. Right, we've got the cruise on. Now, the other thing that I hope has been fixed, but I don't know yet, is uh, the fact that the steering settings, if you mess about with the steering settings, they don't... Previously, they haven't saved game to game. Every time you fire the game up, you've got to reset all your settings again. Uh, I hope that was a simple one and they put that in but this is the first session I did have to set them up again for this first session so when I play next time I will uh, I will report back on that one um, nothing was mentioned about it on the discord so I don't know if it was included however the simple ones are the best ones aren't they so I'm hoping that one's gone in I'm just looking ahead at the draw distance there is still some fog but to me, it doesn't look as foggy. Now, I understand why they do that fog. It's because then they don't have to detail too far out in front of the uh, the truck. But it looks like it's not as foggy. I could be talking pants. Again, let me know what you think. Uh, I do like the look of the road and the surrounding sort of vegetation there. It all seems a bit more sharper to me than it was. I just wish sometimes we could get the patch notes, that's all. Uh, I do watch the Simnext videos. That's where most of the information comes from. So check out the Simnext channel. That's run by Fabian. He's a producer for Aerosoft. And works on many of these titles, including On the Road and... Fernbus, amongst others. 
Uh, he usually tells us what's coming up in the patch, but we can't get the patch notes. I just wish they'd be published uh, somewhere. Uh, but not to worry. Like we said at the top of this video, as long as it's being patched, that's a good thing. As long as it doesn't break anything. Let's take a look outside. Still in the Tintin 57 livery. This is the new trailer from the previous patch. The car trailer. And I'm trying to keep straight on this road. Let me spin it round a little bit. There we go. That looks pretty good. Just cruising along. Maximum speed 80. On this road we're doing 76. Someone tries to squeeze past. You're going to have to get past us quick because I can't see where I'm steering. There we go. That'll do us. 77 kilometres to go. It does look a bit foggy actually from this angle. Out of the cab. But in the cab, it looks a lot less. I know it bothers some players, it doesn't actually bother me that much. I'll, I'll be honest. As long as the game plays right. I mean, it was broken, wasn't it? Not long ago, the physics were completely broken. Now, that does bother me, because I can't play it. Um, but now, it's in a much, much better place. I love it. You know, between this and Firmbus, I'm quite enjoying my uh, driving sims at the moment. I wonder if the new content will be chargeable DLC. I know the tanker trailers are going to be free of charge, because uh, Fabian said that in his videos. Uh, but nothing was mentioned about the new trucks, so I don't know that if they'll be paid items or not. Because we've seen paid items on the other simulators, haven't we? We've seen bus packs for um, tourist bus. Uh, and I believe there will be some bus packs coming for Fern Bus on the console edition as well. They'll be chargeable. So, not sure. Not sure about this. Um, there's been very little said apart from the fact that there are some trucks in development. In fact, they've actually been shown off, haven't they, in game? I believe that Fabian is going to be driving one on his channel this week as well. That does suggest that they are very close, doesn't it? So would you would you pay for DLC just out of interest in this game? I'm not sure. Maybe you're waiting for a longer period of stability with the game, given its issues that it's had, before you would consider paying if anything extra. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but now we've had this patch. I think I'm going to play this a lot more again. I was playing it and playing it and playing it until we had the physics problems where we couldn't get up even the slightest hill. Um, and then I gave up for a little bit, I must admit, and played other things because it just wasn't working right. Now I've got back into it again. So I'm looking forward to crossing off a few of these trophies. Um, and a couple of them are the distance trophies. I still need the distance trophies because... I can't remember the exact amount of kilometres you need to drive in a single truck, but there's a couple of them that are really, really high number, 500,000 kilometres or something. I think one of them is. I hope I've got that wrong, it's 50,000, not 500,000, but there's a couple of those. Um, so you're obviously going to have to do a lot of driving to be able to get those, but I'm looking forward to getting those and going for the platinum. I've got quite a number of trophies, I think I only need three or four, you know for the whole thing so we're getting closer uh, just seeing the signs for Hamburg 43 kilometers away so we may be coming off at this junction let's see it does look like it actually I still don't know what gearbox in rank mode means so let me know I've not seen that before I don't think Well, we're not coming off here actually, we are carrying on, but this must be the outskirts of Hamburg. You can see Hamburg signs there on the right hand side. But in this sunny weather, look how bright the game is. It's definitely improved, hasn't it? This is a different engine to Fernbus. I don't think it looks as good as Fernbus does. This is Unity, isn't it? But I'm quite happy with it. It's quite nice. 
So I think we'll get back to doing regular live streams of this, and we'll uh, we'll set up some proper big jobs like we used to on the uh, the previous streams we did through the tunnel. 27 kilometres to go. Let's keep tight to this wall. I should probably move over to the right. Actually, I'm speeding a little bit now. Let's move to the right. It wants me in the left lane, actually. Am I going... No, I must be coming off... Yeah, I'm coming off on the right-hand side, and then we're looping round, it looks like, there on the GPS. So let's get out of this tunnel. I'm using the controller still, by the way, um, in case you're wondering. This is the PS5 version as well, if you're new to the channel. I do play it on the PS5. Um, works perfectly fine with the controller if you get the settings correct. Um, and as many of you know, there is a video in the playlist. And I'll link to it now, up in the top right, which actually shows you what my controller settings are. So if you are new to the game and you're playing it on controller, check that out. See if those... Uh, oh, what's he doing? He's just pulled up, pulled up dead in the road there. Um, yeah, check that video out. See if those settings also work for you. And, uh, oh, as I hit the barrier. So the, the settings are not perfect. Um, see if it helps you. And, uh, yeah, let me know if it does. It's a bit difficult when you first jump in to know what settings to use. It takes some tweaking to get it right. Good thing is we've got all greens here, so... We're quite close now. We'll get these cars delivered. It's nice to see our employees again. Daniel Stobber, he's just finished his route, so that's good. All making good money in the background. Got a nice Docklands area here, at Hamburg. The streets are quite quiet here in Hamburg, aren't they? Just in this particular section. So hopefully here we've got an easy delivery. You know what my reversing's like. You know it's like by now. We don't go for perfection on this channel, we just get the job done. So let's get ready to turn in. I think we'll go for it after this one. I don't think we're going to get a more suitable braking traffic than that. Here we go. Let's try and do this without hitting anything. It's close, it's close. Right, round we go, and we'll get these dropped off. The engine keeps going quiet again in places, I've noticed. Oh, we're on the bend. So we just need to drop off just at this top end. Just in these markers, and then walk to the freight office. It says that, it makes me laugh, it comes up, walk to the freight office. You can't do that until you've parked at the parking isn't straightforward. Nice to see trucks on the road going past as well, isn't it? Let's get as straight as we can. Right. Right, let's uh, go into reverse. Of course, now that the gearbox is in rank mode, whatever that is, I've got to put it in reverse. That's it. No, I don't know what I don't know what setting I've tweaked there. I don't know what's happened. But I can't just go backwards or forwards anymore. If I can keep this straight, I should be able to do this in one go. Let's just take it easy. Pushing it back. I think we might be good there, you know. 
So we're looking for these yellow boxes, these yellow markings to turn green. And then we know we're in. The trick is to do it as slowly as possible. You may be witnessing the best ever reversing I've done in the history of this game on this channel. I'm just saying. So unless I mess it up right now. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's, do you know what that is? That is me putting the brakes on. Um, but the brakes aren't working. I'm in reverse. How do the brakes... Oh, I don't even know. Didn't. So, the brake is making me reverse. So how do I brake? That's forward. Oh, now it's gone back to automatic. Look, I can go forwards as usual. So let's do that. Because I'm into something funny with the gearbox. Now it's reversing. So the gearbox is working out. I don't know if that's a fault, you know, with the gears. I had to put it in reverse to go to reverse. You saw me do it. But now it's gone back to the automatic gearbox. So I can go forwards and backwards without changing the gears. So something odd. Someone will need to explain that to me unless that's a bug. Not to worry, we're here to deliver these, so let's get it done. Next time we go green, then we're going to deliver them. There we go. Let's get the handbrake on, and we'll jump out. Let's go and talk to the boss. Here he is. One delivery, Brutto 40 foot. It's a worldwide ship in Hamburg, so let's get these twist locks done. There we go. So, this little one from Kiel, down to Hamburg. The distance has come up as zero. See, that's not right. We should have a distance there, shouldn't we? I hope the distance that we're driving is actually counted towards those trophies, you know. Uh, that would be my only worry. We got 7,031 euro, 780 reputation points we did get a little bit of damage when we hit that barrier when the doctors the doctors 140 euro but not bad overall we got 6890 euro after that so we'll take it we'll close these until next time and that is it hope you've enjoyed the video hope you've enjoyed another short drive with the new trailer things are looking up i think for this we get past this gearbox problem or somebody explains if i was doing it completely wrong but i think things are looking up for this game so you know i'm quite looking forward to the new content thanks for watching don't forget to leave me a like subscribe if you haven't done so already i do appreciate everybody that has subscribed and to all the members of the channel thank you so much see you on the next one take care